Today's story is The Sandwich Swap. It was written by Kelly DiPuccio and illustrated by Trisha Tusa. So Kelly is the author, she wrote the words, and Trisha drew all of the pictures. I hope you enjoy. It all began with a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And it ended with a hummus sandwich. Selma and Lily were best friends at school. They drew pictures together. They played on the swings together. They jumped rope together. Looks like they do everything together, don't they? And they ate their lunches together. There they are in the cafeteria at school. And they're enjoying their lunch together. But just what they ate was a little different. Lily ate a peanut butter and jelly sandwich every day for lunch. Thelma ate a hummus and pita sandwich every day for lunch. There they are, enjoying their lunches that they brought from home. And although Lily never said it out loud, she thought Thelma's sandwich looked weird and yucky. She felt terrible that her friend had to eat that icky chickpea paste every day. Ew, yuck. And although Salma never said it out loud, she thought Lily's sandwich looked strange and gross. She felt just awful that her friend had to eat that gooey peanut paste every day. Ew. Gross. That's what they're thinking about each other's lunch. Then one day, Lily just couldn't hold back those pesky thoughts any longer. Your sandwich looks kind of yucky, she blurted out. What did you say? Salma asked, thinking she must have misunderstood her friend. I said... Your sandwich looks yucky. Salma frowned. She looked down at the thin, soft bread, and she thought of her beautiful, smiling mother as she carefully cut Salma's sandwich into two neat halves that morning. Her hurt feelings turned mad. So there she is. Now she's not just feeling bad. She's mad now. Yeah, well, your sandwich looks gross, and it smells bad, too, Thelma uh, snapped back. Lily looked surprised. It's like she's shocked, like, what? She looked surprised. She sniffed the thick, squishy bread, and she thought of her dad in his silly apron, whistling as he cut Lily's sandwich into two perfect triangles that morning. Lily scowled. It does not smell bad. Does too. Ew, yuck. Ew, gross. Uh-oh. Looks like they're starting to argue. That afternoon, the friends did not draw pictures together. They did not swing together. And they did not jump rope together. Look at them. There they are, far away from each other. They're not happy with each other. The next day, Selma ate her lunch at one end of the table, and Lily ate her lunch all the way at the other end. Meanwhile, the peanut butter versus hummus story had spread, and everyone began choosing sides, 
Each side had something not so nice to say to the other. So over here, this is this is one group of kids, and they're saying, peanut butter breath, jelly heads. And this is the other group of kids, and they're saying, garlic breath, chickpea brains. Pretty soon, the rude insults had nothing at all to do with peanut butter and hummus. You're weird. You're dumb. You look funny. You dress ugly. And then it happened. Somebody yelled. What do you think they're going to yell? <gasps> Food fight! Peanut butter and hummus sandwiches and other lunch favorites began flying back and forth between both sides of the lunchroom. They stuck to the walls. They stuck to the ceiling. They stuck to the lunch lady. When the sandwiches were all gone, pudding cups and applesauce and carrot sticks took flight. Thalma and Lily looked at one another from across the crowded, splattered room. They both felt ashamed by what they saw. Look at that mess. What do you think ashamed means? I think they feel embarrassed. They're embarrassed because their behavior caused all of this to happen. They both felt really ashamed when the principal called them into her office after they had helped clean up the mess. That principal does not look happy at all. Do you see her face? She looks cranky. The following day, Salma set her lunch down across from Lily's. The two girls nibbled on their sandwiches in silence. That means neither one of them were talking to each other. Finally, Lily got up the courage to speak. Would you like to try a bit of my peanut butter and jelly? Salma grinned. That means she got a smile on her face. Sure, why not? Would you like to try my hummus and pita? Lily laughed. I'd like that. On the count of three? Okay, on the count of three. One, two, three. Do you think they're going to like it? Or do you think that, that it's going to taste gross like they thought? And this is heavenly. The girls giggled and hugged and traded sandwiches. After lunch, Salma and Lily met with the principal again. This time, they were there to suggest a very special event for the whole school. See them? There they are going into the principal's office. What do you think that event is that they're suggesting? And that's how it all began with a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and ended with a hummus and pita sandwich. Look what they did. They decided to have a school-wide potluck. And everyone got to bring their favorite dish from their own country. So if you notice, there are all these different flags. There's the American flag, and that's probably next to the peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. You've got Italy. You've got all of these different flags because all of these kids came from all different parts of the world. And... Everybody has different traditions and different foods that they like to eat that they brought back from their country. So just because it's different and you've never tried it doesn't mean that it's not good. Because something that might not look so good to you might actually taste really good to them. And something that you might eat and think is really yummy, they might not think that because they've never had it. 
So the best way to find out is to try it. And that's what they did here. So I hope you enjoyed this story. And if you've never tried a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, or you've never tried hummus and pita, this might be the perfect time to taste it. You might be surprised and realize that you like them both. Have a great day.